once they put me in the cage, an actual cage with beams, and there was blood everywhere, it smelled horrible, and I saw a piece of human flesh on the piece of um, broken glass, a piece of human scalp, a finger, you know, a small finger, and all the walls were covered by blo blood, and the floor was covered by blood. So it was a, you know, psychological attack on me. The motivation is obvious. I have children and I love my home. I want my home to be different than it is now. It's not just words. You know, it's so simple. I mean, it's um, just your uh, devotion to your own home. Oh, I cannot even uh, ever overestimate the help of the Pulitzer Center. The situation was the following. Wherever I go with this project, the, the first reaction was insane. We cannot help you to go and just, you know, uh, let them to kill yourself. I was trying to explain that I know the Caucasus much better because it's my home. I'm going to plan this trip in details. I'm going to plan in case an escape you know, emergency escape plan. There is a plan for it, and it worked out, but no one ever believed me. No one was going to give me any dollar, any cent to go and to work on this, co on this project. John was the first who actually uh, not only approved the uh, grant, but, you know, was calling me every day to the Caucasus, asking about my security um, and giving advices, where should I stop and go back and what should I do? And, you know, he just needed to make sure that I'm safe there so I'm, you know, alive. <laughs>